Yes, indeed. The regional chairperson of the ANC and the mayor of the city of Ekuruleni, Mzandi Lemasina, was reprimanded by the African National Congress yesterday evening with a statement being sent out by the ANC's uh, spokesperson, Kilemave, saying that ANC members and ANC leaders elected into positions of responsibility must be responsible when they're engaging on social media, particularly when they're engaging on Twitter. Remember, Mzandi Lemasina did uh, retweet uh, Kilef Malema, the EFF leader's tweet that... Uh, they want the collapse of the commanding heights of the economy owned by white monopoly capital. That tweet was similarly reciprocated by the Secretary General of the EFF, Marshal Damini. That prompted the ANC mayor in Ekuruleni and regional chairperson Mzandi Lemasina to come out yesterday guns blazing, saying that he's not going to serve in a cowardice ANC in the conversations that we saw in the WhatsApp group of the Ekuruleni Regional Executive Committee. Mzandi Lemasina saying that if there are those who want him out of the ANC, he's willing to let go and to relinquish all the leadership positions that he's been given within the African National Congress. Today, he subsequently called a Regional Executive Committee meeting to deliberate on his tweets and particularly around the controversial issue of the commanding heights and the nationalization of the commanding heights of the South African economy, which is perceived to be owned by white monopoly capital, which is the same views that um, Zanil Masina seems to share with the EFF leader Julius Malema. So is there going to be, is there going to be some sort of disciplinary hearing against uh, Mr. Masina? At this point, it's not yet clear whether there's going to be some sort of disciplinary hearing against Masina. If there is, that would obviously be brought forward by the Gauteng Provincial Executive Committee led by uh, a chairperson, provincial chairperson and provincial secretary Jacob Kawa. The province of the ANC in Gauteng is yet to say something. We did earlier on speak to Bones Modise, who is the provincial spokesperson of the ANC. He said that he would get a hold of Jacob Kawa, the provincial secretary, and he would get back to us. They are yet to say anything. They are yet to even get back to us. We did speak to the spokesperson of the ANC nationally, Pule Mabe, who said as far as they are concerned, the issue is now dead and buried. They have spoken on the issue of uh, Mayor Mzandi Lamasina. They have reprimanded him. And what the ANC region in Ekuruleni then decides is up to them. They weren't even aware that the mayor was threatening to resign. From the WhatsApp conversations we saw from the REC conversations last night, Mzandi Lamasina was alluding to the ANC being a bunch of cowards in that particular uh, WhatsApp message that was there and saying that he's not willing to serve with uh, those kinds of cowards and he won't be a part of that and he's willing to tender in his resignation. So uh, we expect that uh, the REC of the ANC here in Ekurulen, which will be having their uh, REC meeting virtually, will be discussing the issue of uh, the mayor's pending resignation or whether he will actually pull through and actually resign or whether the REC will be accepting the mayor's resignation or is this just another political gimmick? Uh, Samkele, I know that uh, this is not the first time that uh, the mayor has said something controversial. Is there some tension brewing between himself and his colleagues within the ANC? Mzadi Lamasina has been pretty much what uh, the former ANC SG, Gwede Mantashe, and now national chairperson would uh, describe the likes of uh, Tito Mboweni uh, as uh, being free agents in a political organization. So he's been very, uh, pretty much uh, speaking his own political views on social media, pretty much like uh, the Minister of Finance and ANC, ANC member Tito Mboweni. Both of them have always been getting into hot water within the African National Congress. Into the mix, you throw the likes of uh, Derek Honeycomb, who go about and they speak their personal views on social media, which the ANC speaks about and saying that they should come about and all defend the decisions of the collective. In this instance, Mzandi Lamasina went as further on speaking on issues that are not particularly ANC resolutions. When you look at the ANC NASRAQ resolutions, they never spoke about the nationalization of the entire economy of the country. What uh, Julius Malema, what uh, Mzandi Lamasina rather, was agreeing on with Julius Malema was that the entire economic landscape, which is perceived to be under the hands of a white dominance in this country or white monopoly capital, must be nationalized by the government of the day. But the governing party speaks about land expropriation without compensation. It doesn't speak about nationalizing the entire sectors of the economy, which is what the ANC pretty much reprimanded Mzadi Lamasina on. And he's pretty much been on a coalition course 
with the ANC nationally on the various policy positions that have taken, for instance, he wants to question President Cyril Ramaphosa on why his government is not nationalizing the South African Reserve Bank as per the 2017 ANC NASRAQ resolutions. The likes of Figile Mbalula came into the fore to defend the president, questioning who is Mzandi Lamasino to be commanding the president when South Africa is yet and the, it's actually focused on reviving the ailing economy. So those are some of the contentious issues that Mzandi Lamasina has been speaking about and addressing the ANC national leadership head on on these particular issues, but there seems to be a collision course, particularly with this troublesome region and very vocal region of the African National Congress led by Mzandi Lamasina in Ekurileni. The question is, will he actually be pulling through on his word in the ANC RDC group that he will be resigning and not leading with cowards? Or will he be pulling a Supra Muama Pilo where the way Supra was then the, the, the premier of uh, the Northwest who was resigning to the, uh, to the PEC, led by Supra Muhammad Pilo as a provincial chairperson. Later, the chairperson rescinded the resignation of the premier. Will the regional chairperson rescind what is perceived to be a forthcoming resignation of the mayor or not? Let's wait and see what transpires. Thanks very much, Sam Gillett, for that report. The West